Happy Friday. Welcome, Old Smart, to Weekend Wake Up. I'm your host, Mayor Dan Seraki, along with engineer Mark, who does an amazing job, who puts all this together so that we can have this podcast for the citizens of our city. Also joining us today, we have a special guest. Our city manager is here, Felicia Donnelly. You want to say hi, Felicia? Good morning, Felicia. We are glad that you join us today. Before we get started, I just have a reminder. If you have any questions, be sure to post them, and I will come back at the end of the episode to answer them. I've got some Oldsmar reminders I want to start out with. Please take the Oldsmar Comprehensive Plan Survey. Vision. The city of Oldsmar's vision for 2043. You need to be involved. You need to take this survey. We need your input. Go to Oldsmar, myoldsmar.com. Right on the front page, you'll see a big sticker. It says, take the survey. Click that. Let your voice be heard. We want to hear your ideas of how our city should grow and where we're headed for the future for 2043. Tonight, don't forget, the rain's not coming. There's not going to be any rain here at all tonight. Tonight is the second Friday. It's tonight, right next door here to this building, the old state bank, the old bank building here, right next to City Hall. 6 to 9 p.m. along State Street. I'm going to give you guys a little secret. The Oldsmobile Club of Florida is coming with their antique cars. Come out and see all the old Oldsmobile cars. And tonight here for the Chamber of Commerce's second Friday. Free holiday family landscaping. If you want to learn about doing landscaping in your yard or help your neighbor do his landscaping, it's this Saturday right next door, 9 a.m. at the State Street Center. Don't miss it. Also this Saturday, our fire department, we have a Heart Saver AED Adult Paramedic CPR class at the Oldsmar Fire Station from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. It's only $20 for residents and it's $30 for non-residents, this is pre-registration. You need to call 813-749-1200 to reserve your spot. I took this class when I first became a council member back in 2015, and I am prepared. If there's an emergency, I can save your life. I am honored, honored this morning to introduce my guest for today, Mario Cruz, Community Outreach Coordinator for the Tampa Bay Kayak Anglers. Good morning, Mario. Good morning. Hello, hello. Mario, I am so glad you can join us today. I am honored to have you here. I understand that you grew up here in Oldsmar. I did. Good old here in Avenue. Fantastic. <laughs> yes. Well, what year was that? 1984. We came from uh, Puerto Rico and uh, we uh, set, you know, Land over here at, in Old Smart, and we've been here ever since. So, what uh, sports did you play, Mario? I played football. What position? I played defensive tackle. Defensive tackle. So you were like a Bruce Smith sack man. <laughs> I, I don't actually. It's funny you said that. He was uh, one of my favorite Bills that uh, that I follow, you know I grew up watching. He still owns the sack record. No one's ever going to beat him. Nope. All right, tell us a little bit about the Kayak Bay, uh, the Tampa Bay Kayak Anglers. How did it get started? So I'll take you back to right there, uh, in the, in the, right in the middle of pandemic. We were at home, we're like, hey, we need to go out and do stuff. So we started you know, going fishing. We owned a couple of kayaks, and I fished a lot. So we started going out fishing most of the, the, the old Tampa Bay, and we stayed the harbor, Oldsmar, and the whole entire area. And then people started reaching out to us. And they're like, hey, you know, we want to do that. How do you get into that? You know, and then next thing you know, my wife says, hey, um, you got these these friends of that we don't know are reaching out to us. You know, we need to do something about this. So then we got we got invited to go to Orlando to an ICAST convention. It's a fishing convention over there. And they say, hey, you know, you could do this to help your community. We're like, oh, we absolutely want to help our community. And that's how we got. That's how the whole thing just began. Wow. All right. So how long have you been in existence? So we started in uh, July of last year. So and as of today, we're a full year in into the organization. That's wonderful. Wonderful. And how many do you have an idea how many events you've done? Is it 10, 20, 50, 60, 100? So we've done, I think it's that we're at number 11 now. Oh, good. Number 11, 11 events in a full year, which is a pretty busy 
for a uh, for a first year organization. That's wonderful. Let's talk a little bit about your target demographics. Who who takes these fishing tours? <clears throat> so we focus more on diverse audiences, you know, including veterans, because we feel like the one of our uh, one of our, our coaches that we have in our foundation, he's actually one of my cousins. He's actually a military vet. And um, he got so involved in it. So we target, you know, veterans, women and children, and then the low income household that, you know, they don't have one, they don't have things to do like the to get on, like they don't want to get pushed. So we, we, we go out there and promote them. That's great. What about kids? Kids. So uh, we, we, I love kids. So I'm a father of, of two uh, beautiful daughters and I, uh, I promote them. They're already fishing, you know. I have an eight-year-old and a two-year-old, and they're already on her. But uh, we, uh, I get so involved in that. Uh, this summer, we did two programs, uh, two summer camp programs, fishing programs for the city of Osmar and uh, FWC, which we, uh, we successfully did. It was amazing. What about age group? Is there a particular age group you're um, looking at for those kids? We target anywhere from 12 and up. Um, we feel like anything younger, you know, it's a little more, they have their different interests, but yeah, 12 and up is our, our more, our base target. Okay, perfect. Let's ask, let's talk about some other questions. Are, are your programs free or is there a donation? How's it work? So most of them are free. And then we have some that are actually by donation, depending on what's going on and what part, particular part of the year we're, we're talking about here. So we, most of them are definitely free. Um, we get uh, people that donate uh, money to our organization, and we, it actually helps out and to get more you know, friends and family out there and to go fishing. F wonderful. The kayaks, the fishing gear, how's that work? So uh, we partnered up with a uh, local, uh, local shop called Kayak Hub. So uh, my buddy Daniel, he's the owner over there, and since day one, he reached out to him. He says, hey, whatever you need. I got you on kayaks. And I'm like, okay, no problem. And then out of nowhere, Bass Pro Shop reached out to us. Hey, we want to help your organization. So they reached out and gave us fishing gear. So we have the kayaks, fishing gear, pretty much all, all covered. So for the family, if a family shows up, let's say there's two 16-year-old or 16 and 15-year-old and the parents, you supply them with all the gear. Everything. How about bait? Including bait. That's wonderful. <laughs> yes. So what happens when you catch fish? Do you have to run over and help take the fish off the hook for some of the kids? Or? Well, that's the gimmick. So before we actually get on the water, we actually go through the whole process of, you know, what to do, how to handle, how to paddle, how to do everything in the kayak. Because catching a fish on land is completely different than catching a fish on on. Uh, uh, on, on land, sorry, it's catching a fish on land. It's completely different catching on a kayak. So you have to bring the fish on the boat. If it starts flopping around, you just got to be careful. So we teach all that stuff. That's great. Now, I've been on a couple kayaks during my career life. Is it one person per kayak or is there two people? How does that work? Well, I don't, I'm not going to talk about how long you've been doing it, but <laughs> it's new age. Uh, we have kayaks for pretty much every demographic and person as far as size and it goes. I'm a big guy and I have a 14 foot kayak. So the wider the kayak, you know, and that whole, you know, you have so many. So when we have two adults, we put them in a nice 12 to 13 foot kayak. They both fit on there. They're very wide, very stable. When we have a smaller person, we're between 10, 10 and 11. So it, it, it falls in there. Good. That's great. So, yeah. so most kayaks are two people. Most kayaks, you know, it depends because we have one and we have two. We have a, it's called okay, a tandem. So, we oh. have a tandem and we have a single. So you offer both. We have for both. Oh, yeah. that's great. We actually have one now that actually sits three. Yeah. <laughs> Two adults and a child. And we talked a little bit before the show. You talked about when the people catch the fish, you like to release them. So we, I am, personally, I am huge on conservation efforts. Um, I like to... Especially city of Oldsmar, I've seen this city go from thriving to not so much because of the water, you know, quality and all that stuff. So I'm really huge on catch and release. That's my biggest motto. So I told you a couple of weeks ago, I was over at uh, Ari Olds Park uh, by the, uh, the pier and there were a bunch of people carrying their kayaks and launching. There's a little launch area there. Which is your favorite waterway? My favorite waterway, it's, it's not bad, it's from in there, but I love the, um, the Mobley Bayou Preserve. 
the whole entire preserve is my favorite body of water. It actually goes out to Old Tampa Bay, right there by the water plant. That's all Old Tampa Bay, but that's my favorite to fish. That's great. All right. Do you have anything you want to share with me before I go to the <coughs> end of the... You said you wanted to read something about your program. So, yeah, we just, we just wanted to... Um, we have a... This is Spanish Heritage Month here. We're in September. So not only do we want to um, focus on that, um, we partnered up with the city of Osmar again, um, and we're going to have two seminars um, this next weekend coming up. So we are um, we want women and, and children, and uh, we're since we're we have a, our Spanish our Spanish um, population has grown. I don't know if you noticed, but it's grown. So some, you know, we wanted to show, hey, there's things you could do out there and go fishing and stuff like that. So we have set up two um, seminars for next weekend, Saturday and Sunday, from 9 to 2, to come out and join us now. There is a $40 donation um, to our organization to help us with certain items, but, you know, it's something to do. That's easy. Okay, so how do people get a hold of you if they want to sign up and join your... Get and do a tour. Well, they can send us an email at uh, info at tellabakeanglers.org. Um, also, they can reach out the city because uh, Eric um, Spindola, I think his last name is, mm -hmm. he's he's a part of our programming. So, you know, you reach out the city or us. All right. And do you have a website? Yes. www.tellabakeanglers.org. That's great. All right. Any particular uh, save the dates? Or, oh yeah, how do listeners book a kayak? We already did that. Yeah. All right, did you want to read something? Because you mentioned at the beginning you wanted to read a little nope. bit about your company. Are you good? We just wanted to make sure that people understand that, that our mission is to cultivate kayak interest. Um, that's like our, our you know, and, and to get more women and children out there. Because I, you know, believe it or not, <clears throat> this year's ICAST, we noticed that there is 40 million people went fishing last year. <clears throat> Excuse me. 40 million people went fishing last year. You were like 17 million were women. Wow. Which is amazing. You know, back in the day, it used to be us, you know, you know, you know, dudes, mostly all men. Now you got women and you got kids out there, which is great. But we really love to get more women out there. So I'm a big promoter. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a girl dad. So I have I have that uh, attachment because I love my girls. Uh, my wife, I, when we first got together, she fished, but not like we're fishing now. So she, you know, I'm a big promoter of getting women out there and, you know, enjoying it. Especially. Well, that's great. Well, a couple things I want to just mention is I really do appreciate that you come out here today to, to be with us today on this podcast. I wish your your company, your kayak company, much success. I think you're on the right track. I like the the idea of your demographics or who you're picking. I think you're correct that whole Hispanic industry. Uh, Culture is just growing yes. massively here in Florida. I see it like you just mentioned. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work yeah. and what you, you're going to do for the for the community and the kids of the city of Oldsmar. Uh, I, if there's anything I can do, I will be glad to help you, of course. Yes. Uh, we're close neighbors. You live a couple blocks away from me, we but I, I think it's wonderful. And is there anything you want to do? Yes, I actually have something. So we all everybody in this town knows how you have a pickup truck with... Uh, a lot of stickers in the back, so I have a <laughs> sticker to give to you. Sorry, oh. to put it to add to the collection of stickers. All right, and, I love it. Yeah, and I then have a sticker for the back of my truck. <clears throat> so as of to yesterday, we got our first merch. So our first merchandise to give out. So we wanted to go ahead and give you our very oh. first. Tampa Bay Kayak Anglers T-shirt. I you love know, it. I want to show there. I, oh wow, it's even long sleeve. <laughs> yes, oh, so I love it. Thank outdoor you. Outdoor shirt for you. It's got PDF uh, fifty. So uh, I always wear long sleeve because I'm always on the water. So I uh, I'm a big promoter of uh, protecting yourself from the sun. Mario, thank you for the the shirt and the sticker for my truck. I'll <laughs> I'll put it on there today. I know exactly where it's going. Yeah. So next time you see me driving, you'll see your sticker. Nice. All right, let's. Uh, wrap up our weekend is there any questions mark for facebook hi mayor it's oh. felicia donnelly yes I, felicia i have a um a couple of questions oh wonderful from, from nancy alviani first of all she says hi dan so i wanted to pass that along oh, wow and and the second thing she asked um is if the uh second friday is canceled tonight so to my knowledge, it is still on. It looked like the rain was supposed to be over by 6 p.m., 
but the um, stay tuned. The chamber will um, will make that decision as it gets closer. She also asked if game night was canceled. So Nancy, game night is actually September thirtieth. So it's not tonight. So um, so hopefully it'll be great weather then. That's it. That's the only questions I received. Felicia, thank you so much for handling those questions and finding the answers. Thank God we have Felicia. <laughs> All right. That's your weekend wake up. Our next episode is Friday, October 21st, 9 a.m. Thank you, Mario, for being our guest today. To learn more about Tampa Bay Kayak Anglers, visit tampabaykayakanglers.org. Right. .org. And thanks to everyone watching this morning. Get up, get out. I'll see you at Second Friday. Enjoy Oldsmar. I love this city.